It's a little hard to explain how to do the wrist pass, but it's a very necessary move. How The best way I've found to do it is just hold about right here on the safe handle. Let's say about two thirds of the way up. And then just flip it out. And then I always grab like this once I flip it out. And you want it to be sideways like this. Okay. And then all you're going to do, I'm going to go through it slowly first time here. All you have to do is you kind of just twist your wrist so the blade falls down and keep twisting it and kind of make that sort of motion right there and swing it around. And that's pretty much it. It's all about keeping the momentum through it. <clears throat> you flip it out, you grab it, and then you just flip it down. The, I guess the best way to kind of get a feel for it is just like maybe, maybe just take the blade. And you can see right now I'm just using the safe handle because that's usually where I wrist pass from, but you can definitely do it with the bite handle, it's usually what it's for anyways. Um, but I just can't quite spin it with the pocket clip all that well. So <clears throat> the best way to do it is just kind of flip it out and then make that kind of motion. So it's like a, what would it be? It must be like you're going from, you're like stirring something in a pot, and then you're scraping something off the side of it, you know? So you take it, throw it out, release the thumb so you'll be able to catch it, and then you just flip it like that. So you should be catching it like this. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's kind of hard to describe how to do it. It's just something you kind of have to keep working at until it just feels natural. Like, if you just do it enough and, like, mess around with, with the way you flick your wrist when you do it, that'll help a lot if you're worried about... <clears throat> um, getting bitten by the blade, just hold on to the safe handle while you do it, and you'll be fine. But as you can see, I can easily do it without the bite, the the blade touching me. Um, yeah, so just try to flick it out and just give it a spin. You have to flick your wrist right about here. Once you flip it down, you have to just give it a little flick up that way. <clears throat> right there. So flick right there. And that's that's the most critical part of the move. Cause that's where all the momentum is gonna be lost unless you give it that little flick. Because otherwise it's gonna it's just gonna fall down, it's gonna hit your knuckles. Now if you're trying to do a wrist pass from when it's open, <clears throat> that is a different story. What I've found is you can get it so the blade doesn't touch your hand, but it will still click when it falls down, just because that's, that's how the knives work. That's where the blade is supposed to stop. Um, but yeah, just flip it out, give it a little flick right there. <clears throat> it's all about timing right here when it's hanging. What I would do to practice, I suppose, is just hang it here for now and just practice getting that motion down. Don't even grab onto it. Just hold it like this, the safe handle, and then just practice getting a flick so it it just shoots up into your hand. And then once you get that down, <clears throat> you 
just practice the whole thing. Because <clears throat> that flick of the wrist right in the middle is definitely the most critical part. Um, and that's going to affect if it gets to your hand, how fast and how fast it gets to your hand, which are pretty much the two main parts of the move. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, hope this helps you out.